Hey McFly subscribers. So I have another quick little tip for you. This has to do with how to kind of finish up a fly. A lot of times, especially when you're doing like a dubbing head, you know, even some other materials, uh, when you're, when you put it on, you can see with this one, it's just kind of going everywhere. There's a couple ways that you can actually fix this and, and uh, make sure it kind of comes out looking finished, almost kind of professionally. Obviously, it's still going to catch fish. Once you throw it in the water, it's going to probably come out looking good. But let's try to see if we can figure out a way to uh, fix this. So first and foremost, you always, always, always want to pick this out, especially with the dubbing head type of uh, streamer. Pick out the fly. And this, there's a lot of times what happens is the, the fibers will kind of wrap up onto itself, kind of loop up, and this just picks that out. That makes sure that all the fibers are aligned the proper way. It also pulls out any extras. If you tie this good, um, you shouldn't have a whole lot coming out, but you are gonna get a little bit, right? I like doing this off the vise, so I'll take it off, and I'll usually brush the fibers forward. Seems kind of weird, since we're trying to get them to angle back. But this separates them, makes sure they're going, you know, all kind of, you know, blended together. And then you brush them backward, right? There you go. And that's pretty good. I mean, you know, it generally is going to, this is kind of, I wouldn't say it's all you need to do, but, you know, you could get away with just doing this. Once you're done with that, if you really want to get this kind of sitting nice, you could always do, and I do this a lot, is a flexible UV curing resin, like, like this Solares Flex. Uh, that could work too. You put a little bit on there, and then with your bodkin, just brush it back. And I, if you guys have seen any of my videos, you know I do that a lot. But there's another way. Um, if you don't want to have the flexible UV curing resin on there, and sometimes you just don't. I mean, I get it. You know, you don't always want to have it. Another way is to run it underwater, and I'll show you in a second. And this is to get the fibers to lay flat and much nicer. So pull them back, grab the, the hook point like that. And then you just kind of use your fingers to comb it down. And this will align all the fibers, get them going straight. You can kind of adjust them to how you want, make sure it's fully soaked. And then you can kind of squeeze it out, maybe grab up top, and pull. Now you've got a fly that's a little more compact. All right, so after you're done getting it wet, then you just set it down right on your desk. Kind of shape it to how you want. This has no bearing really whatsoever on how the streamer fishes. Uh, it's not going to move any different in the water this way, but it does look a lot nicer. It ends up making it a more finished look, and it's something I generally try to do. And obviously, you don't want to stick this right in your bat in your box because if you've got a uh, waterproof type box, then this will end up uh, keeping the moisture inside the box and end up making your hooks all go bad. They're going to get rusted and whatnot. Hey guys, so. Here it is, finally dried. It's pretty late at night, and you can shake it around, and it's going to stay pretty good. So there we go. There's the tip. Um, it really does help. Now you can stick that in your box, and it'll stay pretty much that shape. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching this technique video. I hope it uh, helps you in some way. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. And uh, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them before. I do a lot of fly tying videos. I actually have some fishing action videos where I go out and fish and film myself fish. Just a full honest thing. I film myself fish for a day. And it's not like I'm fishing for, you know, a month straight and then do a highlight reel. This is that day I go out and it's all the fish I catch that day. It's straight reality fishing. That's all it is, really. So um, I hope you like this. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, if you have already, I appreciate uh, everyone, and I hope uh, this helped you guys, um, this technique. So I'll see you on the next video. Now you guys, go catch some fish.